Well, no gas and no food means no customers for businesses in Andover still affected by the gas disaster. Tonight, dozens of businesses are closed indefinitely until crews can restore their gas service. And as WBZ's Beth Germano shows us, every day that goes by is a devastating loss. The freezer is empty at Palmer's Restaurant in Andover, closed nearly a week. Function room standing still in time when the business was suddenly evacuated last Thursday and closed indefinitely with no gas. So, but this could be weeks. I, I think it's going to be weeks for sure. Owner John Ingalls standing in the claims line at Old Town Hall, hoping to recover lost wages and food at the restaurant he's owned 30 years and worried for his employees. There's not a lot of answers to give to my staff. I have 40 employees, and um, it, it, it's, it's, it's quite scary. Losses are already in the thousands at Rogany Indian Bistro in Andover. Everything you can see, we have to throw everything out. In what should be a bustling kitchen, freezer shelves are empty of food that had to be thrown away. And each day they wait with promises the gas will be reconnected. I'm, I called this morning also. They said, you guys on top of the list. This is the only answer they gave me every day when I called. Restaurant after restaurant closed in town without gas. And while Governor Baker says he's trying to help businesses get through the crisis, one thing is clear. The assessment mitigation and rebuild is on Columbia. I mean, they're going to pay for it. Even when the gas is turned back on, there will still be a delay for these restaurants to reopen. Each and every one will have to be inspected by the health department. In the meantime, Jesse Pabla also wants to keep his payroll going. Because they have families to feed. And we try to take care as much as we can because they've been here for a long time with us. What they want to know is when and how they will recover. In Andover, Beth Germano, WBZ News.